Hey, I've got a new camera, pick a video, send the camera, and I pick it up. Both are dying with uh, good water, and a couple of things that are good and warm. They're pretty cool. But this either, it's kind of like a. They had Jeff Smith's Bone Volume 2. I didn't have this, and I was like, oh, this is gonna be cool. This is cool, this is gonna be super dirt cheap. I didn't have five, so honestly, I didn't know how much it is. I'm like, the only thing really wrong with it was, you can see the front here. Tail there, but in that it's in like pretty well dirty and scuffed up, but in that it's in like pretty net shape. Definitely none of the pages, the actual, the actual comic of the inside of the spawn is gone. All of the, it's anything, nothing wrong in case you have to throw the tail here off. So I'm like, I'm gonna pick that up because some people might throw that out. Like, I can still read the book and enjoy it, so and if it's like only 50 cents, so that'd be only 50 cents. So I'm like, you know what to pay for? I'm like, yes, that's awesome. A book like that, how much actually did the book go? Like, it's like a ten dollar book. It's $9.99, it's a ten dollar book and I got it for uh, like 50 cents, it's pretty cool. And the other two comics I got, uh, the, I got two other comics that, uh, well I found this, it's all Ghana Core, but you knew it's 25. I actually like the Ghana comic by DC, I like the, uh, and I do remember getting the, not this particular series, but it's like the really old ones, and I do like them, they're kind of fun little comics, based on the Ghana Core. And I do like them, even though they're not like they're not the greatest comic ever, but I do like them. The Wizzy 25 didn't have this one. And I have them around this for the series that I got, so that was cool. And the comic I got with this, I believe it looks like a dollar. It's kind of a must for these, but they're not, they're not, it's not like too much. Uh, but it's kind of like a little, I'm like, uh, they're not it's kind of, it wouldn't be better if they were 50 cents. Like, that'll book for 50 cents. I would have paid a dollar for that and 50 cents for these, it's even a little must. But I also got, uh, Glad. Chlorine, Final Core, no Final Core comics, Chlorine, something on the top there, don't know, this is issue 6, this is also a dollar, I'm like, okay, I mean, it's cheaper, it says two ninety five on the top there, but I'm assuming that's for this, because he did come with the Lego magazines, I think, and these are like, worth, like, nothing, these are not worth two ninety five. these are not, like, three dollar comic books, do you see comics now or three dollar comic books, and they wouldn't have been back then that much, so they could have like, a dollar or something, maybe two, two dollars I could see for this, a dollar or two for this, but nah, yeah, no one won that. So, what else did I get? A little 2D, the comic, the comic, let's look at some stuff. Check them and Logan because I want to see if they had any issues that were kind of uh, uh, needed, uh, that were not like some of the newer stuff, some of the earlier stuff. And they happened to have the perfect issue I need. I have the first two issues, so they had, and I have like a couple other random issues. But then issue three, next year I needed, pretty cool. So it's uh, Owen Logan taking on Kate Bishop and with Captain America coming in. It was a really good book. I'd be like to offer this if you're ready for me. It's just an awesome book. And I didn't have issue free, so it's hot. Awesome to get this book. And next is going to be him fighting Captain America. So awesome. That's a really awesome book. So awesome. Uh, the book I was going to have to look for was Charge Chain Go issue 6. This is the one book that I wasn't sure if I was going to be in my box. So I'm like, I'm going to pick this up. The last, the last month I didn't have it in my box. So I wasn't sure if I'm going to get this in my box. So I'm like, in case you don't have it in my box, because sometimes they don't have a lot of copies. I mean, it's not in my box, they usually don't have a lot of copies, and by next week they might not have any, so I was like, I'm just gonna go pick one up. Uh, this is issue 6, this is the final, I think, story arc. This concludes the first story arc. This comic has the most comics out so far. Uh, out of all the DC, um, DC animals, Shadow Shingo, seems to be the one that's been the most consistent, that one, and Kid Carson. They've been coming out like every month, uh, it's been really good. Deep Mutual Animal and Panic have been all over on the uh, one really kind of thing, but they're still great. And this is another great book. I really did like this. Um, it's, it's the first story arc. Really good book. Started Change of Gracie 6. Awesome. Last three books are all for one series. I was looking because those news books and I'm like, do you have anything else I've been wanting to get or something else that I've been really wanting to read or other books I need? I looked, didn't have any of the other books I was looking for that I needed, but they had this, the first three issues of this, and I wanted to read it. That's all they had, the first three issues. They had some other issues, but they were. They had the first three issues in order, issue one, two, and three, so I'm not going to pick these up. They had the first three, so I'm going to pick, I uh, decided to pick these up. A bit easy comic there. This is Hand of Air, Future Quest number one. And it does have a, a nice fold out cover. As all these characters on it, we have, um, we have the Herculoids, we have Space Ghost, Johnny Quest, uh, Harry Birdman, Harry Birdman, I almost said Harry Birdman, turning a lot. But it's just a regular Harry Birdman, these are like the old, um, and some other characters too. Um, it's a cool, it's a cool mass up. It's a comic with teaming up all these characters and teaming them up to fight bad guys. You know, it's just a big crossover book. Oh, this is really cool. I read this first issue. But surprisingly, it's only three ninety nine. I was surprised for that. It wasn't a five dollar book because it's kind of 
a little bit uh, bigger than the regular comic. It's actually bigger than a regular comic by like 10 pages. Like, it's a lot. It actually feels a lot bigger than a regular comic. It is. It's a little bigger than a regular comic. I thought it was going to be more, but it's actually not. Only $3.99, so that's pretty cool. Four bucks for this was not bad. Definitely. For the amount of comic you get in this first issue, I actually really liked it. So, and it's a really good book. I actually really enjoyed it by, uh, was it, kind of, who, who wrote this? Uh, it's Peter, was it? Jeff Peter. So that's pretty cool. It also had Hannah Barbera, just a question number two. Now this is a regular issue, it was $3.99. I was thinking, oh, is that one four bucks? Maybe this one's three bucks. Uh, uh, three bucks. I'm like, nope. That, but this one's also four bucks. But no, it's not too bad. Four bucks to these comics are not bad. They are great books. I do like them. This is the second issue. Uh, I actually really enjoyed this the continuing the story. This is part two of the story. Well, I thought it was really good continuing the story. And then they had issue three. was a little different. Issue three. And we have a quest. This one has two different stories in it. This one has one that's featuring two stories featuring two different characters. They decided for issue three to do an issue where it's like, oh, here's two different stories focusing on specific characters old teens or whatever, you know, hair bear cartoons. One of them was featuring the Focaloids, where it's called uh, Vortex Terrorists, the Focaloids. It kind of gives you more information about them and how they became who they are. It gives you a little bit more information about them, plus some cool fight scenes. So like, okay, not too bad. And the first one was probably my favorite, was Birdman in the Deadly Dest in, the, in his own comic, a Birdman comic. Uh, I don't know if there's been a Birdman comic. I'm pretty sure there have probably happened at some point, but it's cool to see a Birdman comic. Like, oh, a Birdman comic, that's fucking awesome. Even though it's the more, even though it's the series, but not the, Bir hey, Birdman Attorney Law was awesome. I think Birdman, this is just a cool comic, because the characters were originally like serious cartoon. They were like superheroes back in the day, and they were more like serious stuff. So it's cool to see him like doing a serious comic with these characters. It was a cool issue. Um, yeah, it's got the first piece of DC, and a bit of future quests. Really like this, so happy to get that. I'm excited, I actually really want to read a lot more of this to see if I would actually answer my list. If I had more extra money and if I and I got caught up on it because I only had the first few issues. But yeah, that's pretty cool. That's all I got for this issue. Uh, it's just these couple of comics I got from the comic book store and then uh, these few couple of stuff I found at Goodwill. So thank you guys for watching the video. You guys can like and favorite the video. You can take a message to me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that stuff down below. You can always subscribe. So if you go on my main channel, do pay to get the nice one stuff. Of course, to the channel where I do gaming and comic book stuff. You can always stay up and I'll see you in the next video, guys. I'm really tired. This is really, it's kind of late. So goodbye and stay epic.